All right, Jasmine, thank you. Our top story now, a coalition of parents, students and community organizations are calling on El Paso ISD to reconsider its proposal to potentially close 10 schools as part of its ongoing redesign initiative. As we've reported, the proposal is meant to address the decrease in enrollment. The group calling itself the Save Our Schools Coalition is also asking that the EPISD board president recuse himself from any future vote on school closures because of what they're calling, quote, a clear conflict of interest. This week, more meetings are happening to keep parents informed about the planned campus closures. KTSM spoke with a local parent who said their main concern is the children that these closures could impact impact about 2,000 kids at EPISD and the most of the schools are in the most vulnerable areas of the city, lower income, higher immigrant population, um, and, and just disadvantaged communities. And so we think that's unfair to be balancing the budget on the backs of children. Make sure that that uh, well, the group wants the school district to delay closing the schools until an equity audit is complete and more data is available concerning the district's budget deficit. Well, if the school closures are approved, they would take effect for the 2025-26 school year. District officials are set to hold one of their last rounds of phase three educational meetings tomorrow. That happening at Lamar Elementary School, which is one of the schools expected to close. The meeting will be at 530 in the afternoon. Those meetings are happening all week until this Saturday, November 16th. And for a full list of locations and days, you can, of course, visit our website. That is KTSM.com.